we have 5 times squared a plus 13a plus 8. And we were asked to factor this expression completely. One of the possible ways to do this is to try and separate the complete square. So, this is what we're about to do right now. Let's rewrite the expression in the following way. 5 times squared a plus 10a plus 3a and then plus 5 and plus 3. So these two sums will give us 13a and these two will give us 8. So basically nothing has changed. Then let's rearrange them a little bit and go the following way. 5 times squared a plus 10a plus 5. This would be the first summand. And then we'll have 3a plus 3. This is the second summand. <coughs> Let's factor 5 out of the first summand. So we have 5 times squared a plus 2a plus 1. And factor out 3. 3 times a plus 1. Now, this expression in the first bracket is nothing else than the complete square a plus 1 to the second. So we now have 5 times a plus 1 squared plus 3 times a plus 1. Let's now factor out a plus 1. So we'll go a plus 1 times 5 times a plus 1 plus 3. Or opening these parentheses, we'll have a plus 1 times 5a plus 5 and plus 3. Or a plus 1 times 5a plus 8. So, this is our answer. There is another way to solve this problem. Let's try and use it. We may probably remember the formula allowing to factor the quadratic polynomial. And in general, it looks the following way. So if we have a quadratic polynomial a times squared x plus b times x plus c, it may be factored as a times x minus x1 times x minus x2, where a is a coefficient standing next to the x squared, and x1 and x2 are the roots of this polynomial. So let's apply this formula to our polynomial. And the first step on this path would be finding the determinant, uh, the discriminant of uh, the given polynomial. So discriminant is equal to squared b minus 4 times a times c. And in application to our expression, we have that b equals 13, a equals 5, and c equals 8. So we have 169, which is 13 squared minus 4 times 5 times 8. Or 169 minus 160, which is 9. Then we're finding the roots of this polynomial. Negative b plus or minus square root of discriminant divided by 2 times a. Or substituting the values into the formula, we'll have negative 13 plus or minus square root of 9, which is 3, over 2 times 5, which is 10. So let's now write them separately. The first a goes negative 13 plus 3 
over 10, which is negative 10 over 10, which is negative 1. And then A2 equals negative 13 minus 3 over 10, which is negative 16 over 10, which is negative 8 over 5. Let's now substitute these values into the formula. So we'll have again 5 times squared a plus 13a plus 8. According to this formula right here, it might be factored as 5, which is the coefficient standing next to the squared a in our case, <coughs> times a minus the first root, which is negative 1, which means that we have a plus 1, and times a minus, square, uh, minus the second root, which is negative 8 fifth, which means that we have eight, a plus 8 over 5. Or we may multiply 5 and this second factor. So we'll have a plus 1 times 5a plus 8. And no surprises, we obtain the same result as the first time.